emerges since they first found basically volcanic rock sitting on the seafloor and no, they knew that there was lots of it, naturally the question then becomes, will we, can we see it erupting? And so for the last 25 years, we've tried our best to go find an actively erupting volcano. Last May, we headed out to uh, the Northeast Slav Basin, which is just south of Samoa, and it's sort of surrounded by uh, Fiji and Tonga as well. And we went and documented what we thought would be an ongoing eruption in the deep sea. And when we got there, we put the sub down, and within an hour and a half, we found the eruption there in its full glory, bright red molten lava, explosions, degassing, and these big, beautiful magma bubbles, bright red bursting, the lava freezing almost instantly as it hit the cold seawater, and the black rock falling back down to the seafloor. It's surprising to find because we haven't done it before, we haven't seen this before, and now for the very first time we see molten lava flowing on the seafloor, and we see explosions and bubbles, and the, the, just the seafloor opens up and suddenly boom, bright red. It's just beautiful. It confirms in many ways some of the things we've thought about how different lava formations take place, all the way from the violent eruptions to um, the formation of pillow basalts. I mean, pillow basalts are one of the most common rock forms on Earth, and we had never actually seen them actively forming from a submarine volcano before.